Hello. And welcome to my end of 2019 video. Now, in the past, I haven't done one of these videos. The most uploaded is a setup review of what my computer setup was looking like at the end of 2019 so that then I can go into the end of 2020 and see how my setup's changed since then. Now, 2019 has been a pretty big year in terms of my channel. So I just want to say thank you, most of all, to some people who have come and subscribed to my channel this year. I believe at the beginning of the year I was at 350 subscribers and I've now doubled that amount in a year, which I think is fabulous. Thank you to everyone who's come and subscribed to my channel. Also a big thank you to Pyro Joe, really uh, promoting my content and I can't thank you enough. The support I've been getting on my channel is amazing and I have Pyro Joe to thank mostly for that, so thank you mate if you're watching this video. 2019, it's been, a, it's been a big year for me, especially my YouTube channel. I've really ramped up my production of content in the past couple of months, and that does tie into my setup, which I'm excited to show you after this little thank you message. But yeah, I just want to say thank you for sticking with me this year. 2020 is going to be epic. You see, I'm kind of, kind of dressed up a bit for this. I, I don't know why, I just figured, you know what, if I'm going to get on and address the channel, I'm gonna do it in style. I've got a little turtleneck, little, little turtleneck number, little little vest number, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you massively for the support on my TF2 content. I know that is the content that most people are subscribed for, which is why it gets the most views of the stuff I've uploaded, especially compared to Pokemon Sword Let's Play. But I'm just making content I enjoy, and I'm, I'm so glad that I have an audience to share that with. It means so much to me that I have people who watch just shit I like to produce. It's, it's amazing. I, I play games and I play games I enjoy. And I enjoy editing. Editing content I enjoy doing. Which is why I bought a green screen to mess around with because it's so much fun. It's something I've always wanted to do. And then obviously get back into live streaming recently as well because it's just fun to just sit down, play a game, and have people you, you might not even know. She's like, yo, you're, you're a pretty pretty funny guy, you know? To everyone who's watched one of my videos, thank you. I've had a few videos do surprisingly well, which I, I didn't think would happen. Um, playing Minecraft Xbox 360 for the first time in, I think it was six years or something? That banged views. I'm surprised it banged views. Um, rating Minecraft music discs. Obviously, the Minecraft resurgence this year has been a lot of fun for me. Got to play Minecraft with my mates. Just love doing that. It's just wholesome fun in it. Nerds of Minecraft 1 and 2. Some of my favourite videos I've ever made, if I'm honest with you guys. And also, the plain TF2 videos I did with the, just the mouse and the drawing tablet. Those were a lot of fun. And on the phone as well. Those three videos I've, I had so much fun making. Wow. I'm going to have to think of new ways I can play TF2 to keep having just such, such fun with what I'm doing. Now, while content may be slow, while I'm at uni because it's quite, it's asking quite a lot for me to do uni work and make quality videos, which is why it always, it'll always slow down while I'm at uni. But during the holidays, you're gonna get that good, good content, <laughs> which is the holidays now. So I'm gonna produce some bangers. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, please do. And uh, let's go on to the setup tour. And once again, Thank you to everyone who's watched one of my videos this year. And if you subscribe, even better, Big Up Pyro Joe. I'm not sure how well you can see me because I'm filming using my back camera instead of my front facing camera. And the line's probably a bit shit, let me fix that a second. But this is my PC setup of 2019. But yeah, we're gonna start from this side. What do we have here? Just a bit of miscellaneous stuff, got my portable charger, got my nice little little watch, headphones, you know, you know how it'd be. Old tripod, got these lovely gifts from my girlfriend, a little little Lego spaceman and a little little cactus, love it. Hell yeah. Then we move on to my Nintendo Switch with controller, little Pikachu number there, and little Joy-Con holder, don't use it anymore. Then I got this little turtle from my sister when she went to Greece. Got a Fortnite minty pickaxe thing. It's used, as you can't use the code. 
got these lovely little uh, little USB numbers going on. And also you got my little Pokeball controller from uh, Let's Go Eevee. And here is my Elgato HD60. Very nice. What I use to record Switch gameplay. It's been very reliable. Got it from CEX second hand and it's been very good to me. Then move on to the, the monitor section of the setup. We got my, and my keyboard. We got the lovely Corsair Strafe. I believe it was called. Very nice. Got the uh, the new Corsair Scimitar Black Edition with these lovely uh, lovely macro keys here, which uh, I did the uh, playing TF2 with the mouse video with. Now we move on to the monitors. The same monitors I've had for quite a couple years now. The HP Pavilion 22 CWs. Very nice. Loving this little background I got going on. And then one of the newest things to my setup is this a very nice ring light which is USB powered so I don't need any, any plugs I just simply plug it in press this button and boom different modes and different strengths this is very useful for when I stream and stuff to get that green screen crispy and then we move to the audio section with my BT Sky condenser mic really want to be upgrading this soon but it's it's doing its job for now and then we've got this steel series arctis 8s or arctis 5s i can't quite remember very nice big fan very this this little ski strap here very comfortable but i'm stalling and why am i stalling well we've got the creme de la creme of the setup oh you've got a got a nice little little webcam up there for stream action, see if it will focus. C920, I believe. Okay, and as we move away from that, we come down to the big boy, the PC. Now, for my PC, I wanted something that would be good for a couple years. I mean, my last one has lasted me my entire YouTube career so far, and my entire PC gaming career so far, so I figured well, I need one that is a worthy successor to the beast that was HAL 9000. Now I welcome you to Mother, named after the PC in Alien, the well, big supercomputer in Alien. So what can you expect to find in Mother? Well, I'll tell you, we've got an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X running at 4 gigahertz overclocked. We're running a CPU H105 cooler with a little radiator meme. We're using the ASUS Prime X470 Pro AM4 motherboard with the two sticks of DDR4 memory. Corsair Vengeance LPX if anyone was wondering. We then have a 500GB SSD I can't remember the exact make because it's not on my PC part picker. We're using a Toshiba X300 4TB, that's wrong, it's a 3TB uh, hard drive. GTX 1080 graphics card, the Gigabyte version. The case we're rocking is a Corsair Carbide Series 275R mid-tower case. And we're running an 850W power supply to power the whole beast. Now why did I select these parts? Well, I looked at which parts were good, which parts were useful, and uh, which parts I could make the most use of with what I wanted to build. Now originally this was going to be an Intel build, but something came out about Intel which made me feel less easy using an Intel CPU, so I decided to go for the Ryzen 7. AMD recently have been, been, have been killing Intel in the CPU game. So I just thought a Ryzen 7 was the best choice for me, and they're usually a bit cheaper than the Intel CPUs. I went for a GeForce GTX 1080 because I found a good deal on eBay, of all places, where I could get a nice GTX 1080 for a good price. Prices of graphics cards are fucking insane right now due to mining. They have decreased a bit, but fucking hell, they've been insane. Insanely overpriced for a PC. So I went for a nice GTX 1080 as that's a, it's a good graphics card and it will see me through a couple years, you know? Ray tracing isn't there yet, so I don't need to go to an RTX card right now. 
and obviously there is room for upgrades if I do decide to go for a for an RTX card in the future. I went for GDDR4 RAM as that that's just the standard now. We've been through DDR3, we're now on DDR4, it's much better. I also went for an SSD, the first time I've been having an SSD in a PC so that I could load Windows and my main games on there so they'll run much quicker than if they're on a hard drive. Although my hard drive is nothing to sniff at and is three terabytes, which is where I store all of my footage and programs which don't fit on the SSD. Now, I apologize for being in the reflection. Hi there. But yeah, here we're rocking a nice Corsair lovely RGB uh, cooler. That's hooked up to this lovely radiator meme up here. You can't exactly see it, but there, there you go, there's a better angle. With nice RGBs on the motherboard. That's where I've stuffed my SSD it's behind there. This is the uh, 1080. Now I did say I got it off eBay, but don't worry. It was all clean and perfectly running fine. No issues with it so far. It's just doing what it's doing. And we've got two Corsair sticks back there. Now cave management isn't the best, but it's much better than what my old PC was. And I'm, I think that looks nice to look at. Even though we've got a nice big cable running down there, I do think this PC looks beautiful. And also we've got the nice 850 watt power supply just, just hidden behind the shroud and my hard drives are behind that white thing there. Oh yeah, I've also got a one terabyte hard drive in there from my old PC. That's just got other programs and like most of my videos on there. Currently has about 0.5 terabytes of storage on there. No, three point, yeah, 4.5 terabytes of storage on there with room for further upgrades. I might stick another three terabyte hard drive in there at some point, but for now, so Gucci. So yeah. That has been my computer setup. I, I don't know if it's too zoomed in or not. Let me hang on. So yeah, that has been my computer setup for 2019. Very happy with it. Uh, I paid for this all by myself. Big boy build. I'm so proud of it to have such a, such a nice rig in my possession. And uh, just a real quick mention. Yep, there's my green screen. It's pretty big. It's a big boy. This is my second green screen. I have a smaller green screen blocking out the light while I record this. this. That one was too small for what I wanted. This one is perfect size. As you can see, it's huge, so storing it was a problem, but I just slot it behind there. It doesn't get folded up or anything. I've been over the giant tree. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like. I do stream on Twitch now, twitch.tv slash OTGT underscore TV. See you later. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can feel took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.